Hey, hey, this is Chris Chow, and welcome to another video. This is the man who's Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. Now we're getting straight into this video, and oh my god, if this is true, this will be a monster of a coaster. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is RMC Guazi at Bus Gardens Tampa. Now, I have to stretch that this is not confirmed in any way, so take this as a pinch of salt. But I found, and just to clear up where I found this, I found this on, it was quoted from a website, but it was written on the Coaster Force forum, uh, on the roller coaster construction bit. Um, I think it's like one or two pages, it, um, you know, of the latest pages, not like the page one, page two, it's like page nine, ten, page eight, um, around that mark. Um, and I saw a quote about what the, the first bit of the layout could induce. So take this a pinch of salt, it's not confirmed. However, uh, just for, specifically for this video, I'm going to treat it as if it was confirmed. So bear with me. Um, so the quote from the forum that was quoted from a website or an article uh, says, The new Guazi will make some major modifications to the dueling coasters. The first of which is to remove its dueling elements. So that's the first thing to pick up on, which confirms, well, 50-50 confirms it's either um, a really long ride, but just uses one lift hill, uh, or it could be a Mobius loop and use both lift hills. I don't know. Um, but this leads me on to the next point, uh, that the original lift hills will remain as fe and feature as normal hills on the new track. Now, this could again a uh, hint towards gigantic airtime hills maybe a wave turn hill uh maybe even it looks as if they could be building a brand new lift hill somewhere else on the site and then those hills sort of turn into like airtime hills i mean it looks as if that could create a two train service or a three train service uh on this ride so getting back into the quote then, so that was sort of the end of the quote, let's get into the, the sandwich bit, the middle of the bit. Uh, so, the f so they've mentioned uh, a new steel structure lift hill will give the coaster a 65 metre, 91 degree first drop. Now if you don't know what 65 metres is, it's 212 feet. A 200 plus foot RMC, now again, this is not confirmed, take this as a pinch of salt, but if it is, my god, this thing's gonna be a machine! Um, so this would make it the tallest and steepest RMC Kyber coaster in the world, as well as the tallest coaster in Florida. Now, previously, uh, the tallest coaster in Florida is Mako uh, at SeaWorld Orlando at 200 foot, and Sheikra in the same park, Busch Gardens Tampa at 200 foot, so they could be breaking their own record as well as Mako at SeaWorld Orlando, the big B&M hyper. Um, funny, two B&Ms beaten up by an RMC. Who would have thought it? Um, so what are my thoughts then? I just... It, this is just speculation. I, I, I've got to sort of drag myself back down to reality and, think, and remember that, but my god, this thing looks a machine. Um, this is a monster of a coaster. Um, there has been a big debate over RMC Guazi as to whether or not it will beat Kumba, which is of course the B&M sit-down that opened in the late 90s uh, at Busch Gardens Tampa. And you know what? I think it will beat Kumba. I think uh, a couple of people, I know one YouTuber said on his video about 2020 coasters, said um, it, it may beat Kumba, but it could be hard to beat Kumba because Kumba's a very highly rated ride from what I've seen uh, but we know RMC can top it so again I, I <laughs> again I've got to bring myself down to reality that this is not confirmed in either way but if, if this is just speculation of, from what I've seen but <laughs> it looks a, a monster of a coaster I mean 212 foot 91 degree um, drop like a first drop 91 degrees from 212 foot like you, what <laughs> it, it, it looks insane it really looks insane so I can't wait to see what this is gonna be and I can't wait to see uh, what this looks like it could be I, ca I can't wait I really really can't wait so again 
Um, not confirmed in any way, just speculation, but I'm gonna take this on board and just keep it just keep it as evidence to sort of say right when the, when it's when it's actually fully announced later in I'm sure it'll be announced around August this year. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's gonna be announced on August 16th, which is of course National Roller Coaster Day, which I'm hoping most announcements will happen. We didn't have a popular year last year for National Roller Coaster Day in terms of announcements, however, uh, going into the 2018 season from 2017, we had a lot of announcements on National Roller Coaster Day. Hang Time, Steel Vengeance, Twisted Timbers, um, just, just loads of stuff. Um, so again, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. So thank you very much for watching this video from Guazi. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. For now, my name is Coach Child Doncaster Bourne, but built for theme parks. Keep living the coast life, my dudes, and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care. Have an awesome day.